Oh no! Oh no! They're all on fire! Oh! All right. So today in how not to suck at teaching, we're going to discuss the uh, the using. Uh, how, how today in how not to suck at teaching, we're going to talk about the fire drill. All right. So the fire drill is when uh, you're not expecting it. And all of a sudden it goes off and your class is disrupted and you have to get your students outside quickly and back inside quickly as well. Now for me, um, being the art teacher, I've made it very clear from the very first day, you have three rooms in, in the building that will catch on fire. Number one, the cafeteria. Why? Because they have stoves and ovens. Duh. Two, the home ec room, if you have a home ec room, and I know it's now called uh, Family and Consumer Sciences. It's still home hack, just you know, roll with it. Uh, and the art room, always. Uh, if you, especially if, if you have a less than functional kiln, it's a fire hazard for one thing. Uh, but I've, I've, I've had schools where I've had a couple kilns. And I made it very clear from the kids the first day, you know, this is a room that if there was a fire drill, it's most likely it's a real thing and especially if you see me say now we have to go it's a real thing so for the fire drill the big thing i want to that i want to stress to everybody i think is that when you get your kids outside and and this this happens you might be good at this but some other teachers aren't and that's you you're getting your kids outside and then everybody thinks oh it's field day I'm very diligent in that when my kids were going outside, and again, we're talking middle school kids, had like 40 run them out the door. Um, and I was lucky enough to where I had a back door to my room, so I, we just went out the back door, which was so much easier. Uh, best, best safety thing ever. Um, but I had a sign that said, you know, my class name, my where, who, uh, and R underneath it for me. The kids lined up in a single file line in the back. I'm, I made passes down. I'm walking down that line a couple times. And I made it very clear. If you are messing around that line, you're not in the line, I'm giving you detention flat out. And, you know, it took, in a given year, you're supposed to do one of these fire drills once every month. Um, it took about two fire drill rotations, four detentions for everybody like, oh, he's not messing around. Let's go out there, do that, and then head back in. Or, and me, what I usually do is when I'm, I take them out, I'm always the last teacher to go back in because once it's all clear, yeah, go blow off some steam for like two, three minutes. Go, go run around for a lap, just kind of stand there and soak in some sunshine. I'm fine with that because there's a guy who's gonna kill all of us. You don't get out and cut off a turn lane you, you're gonna kill all of us. So anyways, so for me, the um, the thing that I was big on is, you know, make sure you have that time where you have to pay attention and then time where you can break mold for a minute. Um, and I think that's dire importance for a student. You have to have that, they have to understand that there's a reason why you're doing something, but then they have to have that mental break because they're still kids. If you don't have that, you are going to lose them 100% of the time. So especially there's some elementary schools that are cutting out field trip. Uh, not field trip. They're cutting out uh, recess. That's just uh, you're you're asking for more problems. Um, I definitely want to know what you guys think down in the comments. Please leave something in the comments of why you think what you think, where you think this should go. Uh, how do you guys take care of a fire drill and keep your students safe? Uh, other than that, I will see you guys next class.